How's it going guys? Hope you're doing well. This is my walkthrough tutorial of assembling the alien inspired mechanical iris. This project is available on Thingiverse and you can print it. You need to make 11 of these leaves. By the way, there are some very detailed instructions on the page where you can download the STLs. But what you're doing here, what I'm doing here, again, following one person's instructions, and I will put that link in the description, is attaching these pins to the leaf. And the reason you need this is so obviously it rotates. Now on the other side is another pin that's part of the STL, and you want them facing in opposite directions. So you're gonna do this 11 times. I'm just using super glue and an accelerator. Now we have this ring gear looking thing and you have the ring on the back side of this. You want that face down and then you insert the pin that you glued in. You're gonna use that other piece upside down to just help stabilize the leaves. And we're gonna have that leaf move it outwards and have it so it's not covering that hole right there. That hole needs to be uncovered as you place these. So now we're just gonna lay them on top of each other and go all the way around. And when we get to the point right here where they start to overlap with the original leaf, lift it up. And again, that's the printed one, the one that's part of the leaf. And we're gonna lay the remaining leaves in place And now we're just going to align everything here so it is a circle. Now this is a bit weird. What you wanna do is align these slots with those pins. And this does take a little bit of finagling to get it to work, but it does work. And now it's assembled, hold it really tight you don't want those pins coming out and flip it over. Now we have these spacers. You can use screws and bolts, or sorry, nuts and bolts to do this. Um, but because this is just kind of a prop, by the way, you want the beveled side facing down. And now we're gonna insert those spacers and again, you can use nuts and bolts to attach this thing. I didn't have any that were the size that I needed, so I just put some pencils in here that keeps everything aligned, and then use some tape and get the alignment of all three pieces as close as possible. So the top spacer and bottom, I want those very, very close if I can get them. Don't try to do this freehand. Um, you're gonna mess the thing up if you're using super glue. Now we're gonna start gluing the free one. We're gonna glue this into place. There's our super glue accelerator. If you don't use that stuff and you use CA glue, you need to use it. That stuff's amazing. Now we're just gonna put some super glue on these spacers. Probably putting a little bit too much there, but the first one of these that I built, I didn't use enough and they kept coming loose. And so now we're just gonna go around, repeat the process three more times. Don't poke yourself with those pencils. You don't want that lead in your arm, right? Or the graphite or whatever it is. <laughs> okay, now we have our assembled iris and check it out. I mean, ever since I saw Alien as a kid, I always, loved those mechanical irises and um, and just always wanted one so um, again the SDL for this is on printables you 3d print all the parts now it's time for some weathering I decided to print this thing in black um, it's just standard PLA 
And one thing I noticed is that you want to take your brush when you're kind of dry brushing this thing and um, you want to take it over the edge of the leaf. So like the, the reason why is you want that leading edge of each of those leaves to, to pick up the paint. And while you're painting these leaves, keep moving this thing from time to time. Don't worry about, you know, the paint smearing or anything on the leaves. That's okay. You're never going to see the backside of this thing. But the front side, some of the scarring that might occur on that paint as they rub against each other is not necessarily a bad thing. It might make it look kind of used and cool. By doing, oh, getting the inside edges there too and checking, you know, if I have any big blotches or anything like that. But don't put a lot of thought into this. I don't, you know, it's weathering. This is supposed to be on, uh, you know, an old spacecraft, which is like a refinery in space. So if you've ever been around anything that's industrial, it is not clean. And that's, so we don't want to have a clean looking prop here. Making sure we get the edges and those little tabs Rotate it a little bit so you get the tabs that were hiding underneath by the spacers. And then we're just going to get all the edges here. Again, rotating from time to time. Now we want to add like a rust effect here. All I do is, you know, put some water on the brush, add some orange and yellow. By the way, my camera, Sony ZV-1, if you have one of those, this thing overheats all the time. So it decided it was going to shut off and I didn't catch it. But here it is. It's mostly dry, but pretty much a complete weathered prop at this point. And then, you know, if you know what this means, let's not talk about it in the comments, but that's the money shot right there. I hope this helps you in some way. Go out and make one of these things, man. They are awesome, especially if you love aliens. Thanks for watching, and please hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.